All right, folks, today's video, we are gonna take the Dell Inspiron 3670 CPU cooler right here, taking it out, and I'm going to try a couple different things. Um, I'm gonna go through all the different CPU coolers I have, find one that hopefully will come close to being a direct replacement. Now, these appear to be uh, number six, 32 uh, threads here. And so um, we got to find one that we can somehow attach uh, into this location. And it's got to sit just perfectly off of it so that we get total uh, contact, okay, with this surface in the top of the CPU. Uh, for heat transfer sake, you want to have the greatest amount of surface area contact, okay, with, with of course, your thermal paste in between. Um, to increase the amount of heat that is going to transfer uh, from your CPU to your cooler. So, in this case, uh, I can tell you I'm probably going to... Uh, this is probably going to end up a failure. Um, we'll see. If I'm lucky, it will work. So here are some of the tools uh, that I'm using. And um, we've got the needle nose... Uh, super long needle nose pliers uh, that's going to help in some situations uh, tightening down the, the nuts uh, whatever reason socket works on uh, two of four but uh, I had to use that for the other two I'm using this flathead only because of the magnetic tip every time I drop a nut or the standoff uh, it's helpful to uh, pick it up with that now, underside of the uh, deep cool uh, CPU cooler, there's a couple of screws on there that uh, you want to make sure are nice and tight. So we need a, uh, a really fine, uh, or excuse me, a faller, smaller size uh, Phillips head. Thermal paste we'll need. I don't know if that's really a tool, just a uh, material we need. And uh, early on when I had to deform and break off the plastic uh, fasteners on the deep cool I used a set of pliers as I try to make a uh, better CPU cooler for my Dell Inspiron 3670 basically I'm taking these uh, vice grips and crushing these plastic gizmos to get them off here all right so to make this work um, not sure what this part is actually called some kind of coupling device but uh, it's threaded the correct uh, size and uh, threads per inch on this side to fit into the motherboard uh, we've already got one in here so we'll put all four of these in if somehow we're lucky this will sit at the exact right height we need it to um, if not you know this is uh this is pretty much the way to go if you can find a different size that is the perfect height all right, so while it looks like my uh, CPU fan actually is sitting nice and flush, um, kind of hard to tell, but um, those spacers or couplings, whatever you want to call them, may have been the, uh, the perfect fit for this. Let me turn the light on. So now all I need is uh, four nuts, um, possibly some washers. And uh, we'll at least have this tightened down. So I found some parts that'll work. Um, these uh, these may be another type of standoff. I just realized I have tons of them. So I think they, uh, they've probably been coming with my computer cases and I just never use them. One side is, uh, this side is uh, number 632. The other side is either, um, I would say number 8. And it's either 32 or uh, something, let's say, more coarse, maybe uh, 24. But I had to go through quite a few nuts to find some that would work. And uh, I found some washers as well. So we're going to use these. Ideally, you would find a nut that has a nice uh, flange going around it. Um, so you don't need this, uh, this washer. But uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? So... Um, I think we are getting ready for the next step. So uh, one side 
just to show you, I used the little washer and uh, I believe it was a number eight washer with the, uh, the nut on there. Um, not getting a whole lot of uh, thread contact, so um, finding a different type of nut uh, would be better. On the other side, I have just the nuts on there. Um, I'm not too happy with the way that works, but you do get a lot more uh, threads in there. Now, I actually feel, uh, if it wasn't for I would probably cut my hand, uh, like I could carry this uh, by by that. Now, that wouldn't be a good thing to do, but uh, it does make me feel like it's at least pretty secure on there. So, um, a couple things we screwed up. We did not put the uh, hard drive in, and I put a, uh, a three-pin fan in um, just for the hell of it, and I did not get the message about, uh, you know... It being a non-standard fan so that's a good sign um we're able to get to the login screen and uh, i'm going to check the uh, temps out so we ran a cpu user benchmark now i don't recommend you do this um that is not a good thing for a cpu and uh it uh basically this is a fail folks complete and utter failure All right, so um, we ran user benchmark. It looks like it got to 57 for the high. Yeah, 57, and it's cooling back off. So that's that's pretty good, folks. No fan, CPU cooler, no standoffs. So the uh, it is sitting nice and flush. All by itself, um, pretty much flatlined. Obviously, stuff's going on in the background there, but uh, min 32, max 46, a lot better than it was uh, when I had it uh, screwed down. Um, obviously, previously it was not sitting flush, so now we know that uh, it's in a lot better situation. That it's uh, at least the CPU cooler's working.